latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for May 16th. The world's main feature today is Cyclone Tate, which is off the west coast of India, has intensified substantially, particularly in the last few hours, and is now a Category 2 on the Sapphire Simpson hurricane scale, as of our latest estimates on day 136 of the year so far. In the Atlantic, it's 16 days until hurricane season, and you'll be pleased to know that there's nothing there and nothing expected, at least in the next five days. We'll keep watching that closely for any developments. We know everyone's itching to see the first storm of the hurricane season. Let's hope it's not anytime soon. In the Eastern Pacific, we have marked a 10% area on day two of hurricane season here in the far eastern part of the basin. Uh, could become a brief tropical depression or storm in around the three to seven day period. Um, but nothing else out there just now and in the uh, Indian Ocean we've skipped all the way there we have cyclone at Taute right now uh, which is edging up the coast of India slowly but it's starting to gather pace it will probably pass Mumbai uh, tomorrow or the or early the next day and this is a southwest Indian Ocean a 50% chance now in effect for that invest labeled 90s which could uh, traverse around Diego Garcia. We also have a 20% uh, marked in the Western Pacific. Looking at satellite imagery of the Atlantic then you can still see that dry air really dominating the Eastern Caribbean Sea and out over the uh, areas of the Atlantic Ocean proper. Um, dry air over Florida as well, it's been dry there today uh, but most of the convection is far far away from many land areas down there in the deep tropics and hardly any of it to speak of anyway. The Eastern Pacific though, a little bit more interesting, you can see the ITCZ there, the Intertropical Convergence Zone, quite active especially further towards the east, that westernmost area we were looking at for potential rotation um, but further east you've got that big blob there as well and perhaps behind that we might see see that 10% form. So this is the Western Pacific, uh, not much going on here, you can still see some residual thunderstorms occurring over the Philippine Islands. Uh, further out towards the east, that's probably where we're going to get that next system if we get it. And this is the South Pacific right now, not much going on here, um, although a little bit of rotation there in the distance towards the right hand side, that might be uh, worth a second look. And uh, looking at a wide shot here of uh, virtually, well, a lot of the world there on that imagery, uh, you can see the Indian Ocean storms. Um, I say storms, the second one isn't one yet, but it's looking pretty good on the satellite imagery at any rate. And this is Cyclone Taute right now, which is just passing the coast at Goa there. You can see it marked on the map uh, and is really intensifying massive cloud tops, which have been blowing up well into the minus 90s in the last uh, 12 hours. And this storm has been rapidly intensifying, looks impeccable on the radar and microwave. Sea surface temperatures then uh, won't be much changed from yesterday, but you can see the eastern Pacific there, uh, fairly warm, especially along the coast of Mexico, 30 degrees plus. The Atlantic, Gulf of Mexico, looking good as well, not too far from uh, what's needed. In fact, a lot of the Gulf is at the 26 degrees Celsius threshold, so that is uh, somewhat worrying to see. And a strong Gulf Stream too, by the looks of things there, extending up beyond the Carolinas already. This is the Indian Ocean, you can still see a lot of warmth where the storm is right now, um, very warm, 30 degrees plus, the Bay of Bengal also piping hot, we could be seeing a system there later in the month, keep watching out for that very closely, South China Sea warm, uh, Philippine Sea still staying warm as well, all areas to watch out for as we enter the later stages of May, it's what the long range model ensembles have been hinting at, uh, we'll have to see if anything like that verifies. And looking at the sea surface temperature anomalies, the Bay of Bengal probably the most anomalously warm there, at least in the areas that matter. The Atlantic, you can see a vast chunk there above average in the uh, subtropical zone and into the Gulf of Mexico, which is pretty crucial, and the uh, northern part of the Caribbean. Uh, the central and southern Caribbean around about average. And the eastern Pacific cool. 
On May 16th, 1906, there was a Category 4 typhoon about to make landfall in the central Philippines or the southern part of Luzon uh, in the Bicol region. Uh, this is probably the most noteworthy thing that happened on this day, May 16th, because it seems that elsewhere in the over the years, over history, it was a pretty quiet day. Um, on a few occasions, storms were early in their lives um, and would become more substantial in the next few days. But as for this particular day, it's got to be 1906. Well, the next name, the first name on the Atlantic hurricane season naming list is Anna, followed by Bill. In the Eastern Pacific, Blanca is next. We've just had Andres. And in the Central Pacific, we're still waiting on Hone. Over in the Western Pacific then, Choi Wan is next up, followed by Koguma in the North Indian Ocean. Of course, we have Tao Te right now, which isn't going away anytime soon. The next name will be Yas. And in the Southern Hemisphere, the next name in the Southwest Indian Ocean is Kanga. In the Australian region, we're looking for Paddy. And in the South Pacific, the next name would be Cody. That's all for now. We'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night.